Welcome everybody to Mole Rat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. How to dose and calculate peptides. The first step is to pick the peptide that you want to dose and calculate. In this example, we will use CJC1295. The peptide comes in two sizes, two milligrams and five milligrams. We will choose the five milligram size. The next step would be to go on various websites and find out what other people are using for a dose. In this case, 100 micrograms per dose appears to be the most common dose. The next step would be to search on Google for a peptide calculator. The one on the top of this page was called peptidecalc.com. The first thing you do on this page is determine which needle you're going to use. You can select a needle size on the left hand side by clicking on one of the three sizes available. We are going to use the smallest needle size in our example. So we click on the needle picture at the top. The next thing we select is the size in milligrams that the peptide vial contains, in this case 5 milligrams. The next step is to determine how many milliliters of water we want to inject into the peptide vial. In this case, we want to change the amount to 2 milliliters instead of the 1 milliliter, which is standard, to make it easier to mix and measure. Sometimes the vial is small and putting a large amount of water into the vial with the peptide is impossible. The next step is to enter the dose we determined we are going to use for this peptide, in this case 100 micrograms. Once we have done this, we can look down at the bottom of the page and determine how much water to pull into the syringe. In this case, we see four ticks on the needle. Each one of these little hash marks here are referred to as ticks. If we experiment with different amounts and different needles, we can see how the number of ticks changes. I will make several other videos about growth hormone and other peptides, and I will place them in a playlist that will appear at the end of this video. It is hard sometimes to find playlists on YouTube, so be sure to click on them so you can find them in your history file. And join the nation. Click on the mole rat on the right to subscribe to this channel. I have no financial ties with any of the products mentioned in this video, and thanks for watching.